the day you bring home your Ridgeback is undoubtedly one of the best days. But it tends to be just a bit overwhelming. In all the commotion, what you might not notice is that before you drive your puppy off the lot, the dealer has made sure they're fully detailed. Your dog has had a full 78 point inspection, a fresh coat of fur, and neatly trimmed nails. From there, it's up to you to keep that wild Ridgeback engine running like new. The good news is Ridgebacks are low maintenance for grooming. They have a well-earned reputation as wash and wear dogs who can easily shake off dust, dirt, sand, and whatever else they happen to run through. But low maintenance is not no maintenance. If you neglect basic grooming, it can have a lasting negative impact on your dog. It's an area that's often overlooked for Ridgebacks, and no one really teaches owners how to do it. So this video is a short primer to help you get started. We'll begin easy. The best brush for a Ridgeback is the one you always carry with you. Give a few quick raking strokes, followed by a few wiping ones, and you'll clear out a good amount of loose hair. A towel can wipe away most of the dirt and sand as needed, but you will need to bathe your Ridgeback. And you should practice that dreaded experience as early as possible when your pup is still easily held. In their first month's home, my puppies are in the bath at least a couple times a week. I don't use shampoo mostly, simply to get the pup acclimated. My dogs have never loved baths, but with plenty of treats, they've come to accept it with a type of gallows humor. When I was even more foolish than I am today, I just used a regular shower head, but I've since invested in a hose mount that makes the process infinitely easier for all of us. So easy that even my assistant can handle it. But again, you have to start early and always work with high value treats. There'll be plenty of cajoling and chasing and scooping along the way but it's easier to wrangle a puppy than a stubborn adult. And the consistency pays off. It makes my life so much easier now that Penny and Zero will get in the tub on their own, plus or minus a few treats and taps on the butt. For shampoo and conditioner, every coat is different, but I've been happiest paying the premium for Verback products. They cost more, but I find a clean and soft coat lasts significantly longer when I use them. Combine them both with a cheap Kong Zoom Groom brush for a really nice lather. Your dogs will actually enjoy being in the bath. It's kid tested. Very Ridgeback good. approved. Along with the hose, it helps keep the dogs a lot more comfortable than they otherwise would be. As for how often you should bathe the Ridgeback, it depends. You'll hear wildly varying opinions, and so much depends on context. So the answer is to bathe them as often as needed but not so often you strip their coats. For us, these guys fail the smell test about every three to five weeks and are bathed accordingly. Do you have to rock them in a towel afterwards? Or dress them up like a babushka? No, but I struggle to see why you wouldn't. In any event, another common grooming concern comes up with those big floppy ears which are a magnet for water, dirt, and Penny's teeth. Vet visits for repeat ear infection can be costly, so to prevent the problem, check ears and use a cleaner. This Zymox is by far the most effective over-the-counter product I've tried. If you're dealing with a split ear or other injury, you'll drive yourself crazy with tape. Instead, invest in a no-flap ear wrap to save yourself and your dog from the struggle. It's really easy to use, unobtrusive, and as a bonus, makes your dog look like Little Red Riding Hood. Unfortunately, it does nothing to prevent Penny from knocking over the stage lights. Now, on to the dreaded nail trim. First, ditch the clippers and use a corded Dremel or grinder. Also skip the low-powered cordless ones, which aren't as effective. Long nails on dogs aren't just an eyesore and floor ruiner. They can also negatively impact health in a number of ways. That's why nail trims are a key component of our weekly spa days. Because of the practice, I can now get the job done for both dogs in about 5 minutes. But like all things, 
it takes time. I keep the dogs between my legs, but others will do theirs laying down. Check out some grooming videos on YouTube for more specific tips. But whatever you do, stay consistent and start early. You may only be able to turn on the grinder at first, then maybe you'll get a single toe. But eventually, you'll work your way up. Finally, what to do about grandmother's big teeth she has there. Veterinary guidelines recommend daily brushing, but I'll tattle on myself and say my guys get brushed once a week on spa day. We've practiced since they were young, and they'll happily line up for the taste of Verbac toothpaste, but I know they need more than that to keep their gums healthy. Oral health is so important for your dog's longevity and comfort, but it's easily overlooked, and dental cleanings are a major surgery at significant cost, so save yourself and your pup the trouble with proactive care. Those lovable mugs get plenty of love on the outside, so show some to the inside as well. As a daily supplement, my guys get dental treats, along with regularly restocked cut antlers. You can't fool yourself into thinking this is all they'll need, but every bit counts. As always, we safety test our products on children. My final trick, in the absolutely do not even consider trying this category, is a few quick scrapes with a dental tool if I notice any plaque. Again, do not try this if your dog has not been properly conditioned with positive reinforcement to be totally comfortable. Once more, please remember this is the person giving you this advice. I'm not a groomer, trainer, or vet, just a very large child. Be smart, safe, and when in doubt, don't listen to me. But if you and your dog are comfortable with it, it is a great finishing option. Otherwise, just brush more and you'll get even better results. At the end of the day, we all want what's best for our dogs, and good grooming habits are an essential part of ensuring your Ridgeback lives a full and healthy life. One undoubtedly filled with dirt, sand, mud, and if so inclined, swims. If you'd like to support Zero and Penny's college fund, you can check out some of the affiliate links below for the products in this video. If you have any questions about grooming your Rhodesian Ridgeback, just drop me a line anytime.